Hi and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. Just want to do a quick update and I've also got some, I'll add into this video, some flying shots and my progress in my DLG uh, progress. It's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm throwing okay and I think I've got a reasonable technique but I'm, I've really hurt my shoulder at the top here so I'm obviously not getting something quite right. So any hints or tips that anyone wants to give me, I'll happily take them on board. So, uh, yeah, quick update on the Hobby King Discus Launch Glider. As I said, the reason I reviewed this now is because it had some upgrades over the original and things like the carbon reinforced uh, trailing edge of the wing, the uh, the new pod on, on it, which is the same pod as the, the Pro, the one with ailerons, and also the upgraded servo. So I just wanted to give you a, a little sort of um, update, really. I've... Uh, since doing the first review, the first thing I noticed was obviously when you land these now and again you you get quite a bump on the uh, on the tail plane like that, and I was a bit concerned about this carbon because it is just sort of cheap fishing pole carbon it 's not super strong, and as I suspected it actually the carbon started to crack along the back here in line with the tail fin, and this sort of here came un undone. So what I've done is I've glued it all uh, with just some super glue because super glue and carbon go well together and I just let the, the super glue seep into the crack over a couple of days and that sort of held really nicely. I've then glued this to the tail plane and just put this sort of fake carbon tape. It's like vinyl tape so it's a bit stronger than just normal tape over the um, the back there just to strengthen it and give a wider footprint on there. I've then wrapped some uh, fishing line, the um, like material sort of cottony stuff, uh, I think they call it braid, uh, around the towel and super glued that just to make that bit there really strong so it doesn't start to split. Because once that starts to split, it's just going to run all the way down. So that should prevent that. And while I was doing that, I just added an extra bit of uh, tubing here for the rudder to go through because the distance between here and the horn was quite big and it was allowing a little bit of flex on the rudder I noticed um, when it was a bit windy. Uh, the elevator one's fine, the distance is, is absolutely okay, no problems with that, but I just wanted to just reinforce that a little bit as well. And I thought, well, I'm doing stuff at the back, I did. All good. Um, also, that's moved the center of gravity back slightly because I'm, um, I'm a bit nose heavy. So I'll show you the other upgrade I've done. Okay, so I've now got the, uh, the battery in that I wanted. Uh, to be honest, I had no problems with the little 3.7 battery, but you're always thinking any minute now that could just the uh, the, the receiver could just pack up because it's not getting enough voltage. So I've gone for the, the battery that I wanted, which is the 2-cell. So a 7.4 volt battery. It's actually one from the um, MCPX brushless helicopter. So I've just chopped off the lead and just kept the one with the JST on it and all I've done is I've put a, a UBEC in. Now the UBEC is a bit large um, but it's the one I ordered and I thought well I'll, I'll try it anyway. So I've stuck that in the top of the canopy with a bit of epoxy and I've uh, cut the wires down on it because they were miles too long and I've just got a JST on there and then there was a massive long lead that went to the receiver and I've just pulled off the plug and just got the two wires which plug onto the receiver pins nice and neat. My receiver stands up the side there. The battery sits, I just have to tuck it in there and that sits on its back nicely and then I have a little bit of foam that sits on top of the battery and then all I have to do is connect up that JST to the UBEC and that's supplying me, it's a switchable UBEC, um, 5 or 6 volts but actually when I put the meter on it, it's given me about 5.5 volts uh, to the servos and the receiver and that uh, is absolutely perfect, that works fine. Um, my CFG is slightly forward of the uh, recommended 80 mil from the leading edge but only a, a couple of millimetres. Uh, I like that because you get a little bit better penetration. The whole thing comes out at 100 and uh, it was it was until I chopped off a few bits of wire and a few bits and pieces. It was 
159 grams ended up but then I've added a little bit of tape at the back so probably back up to 160 grams it stated as 130 grams but most of that for me is the UBEC and the, the battery I could go smaller on both if I wanted to but absolutely fine as it is um, and I'm still loving it absolutely great uh, as I say just those little I mean the, the main my main area of concern was this towel and this splitting I mean, worst case scenario, you could always replace the tube anyway, so that's not the end of the world. But I think with that little bit of strength in there, it should give me a lot more longevity. Um, and uh, I can't see any other sort of weaknesses or areas that give cause for concern. Uh, I did think about putting slightly bigger washers on here, but I'm going to see how we go on the wing because of the way that pulls in. But um, no problems at the moment and uh, yeah just really enjoying it so i hope you've enjoyed uh, i've shown you some uh, pictures of me uh, throwing this i've had some reasonable flights i've not had a day a, a perfect day where i've actually had any lift and where i'm flying where you see those videos it's actually if you imagine it like a, a sunken bath that's the sort of the sort of the area and then you've got the trees all around so it's very very blustery in there the wind swirls around you don't really get any lift but um without lift you know i'm getting 25 30 second flights and uh, I did catch a little bit of lift on one of my flights and I didn't I didn't gain height but I just maintained height for a, oh, about a minute and a half which was quite nice to have and uh, yeah so uh, I'll report back obviously once I get some um, some nice flying days at the moment it's just horrifically windy and the weather's gone pants again but we are due some decent weather soon. So anyway this is GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions with my update on the Hobby King uh, Mini DLG. I'll see you soon, bye.